Yo, this is young producer Metro Boomer, and I want to talk to you about mistakes that I think other young producers make. First thing, I think uh, I hear a lot of songs, certain things, or when like people send me their beats. You know, sometimes I do these uh, like stream online listening sessions where upcoming producers and artists, everybody can send in their music and I listen to it, critique it live. So I hear a lot of things that they're out there doing. One of the main ones being when you're making a beat or whatever and you have your sounds and everything, it usually sounds like they're just throwing the sounds in there and not really adjusting the volume and layering everything the proper way. So like everything's like clash and it's like kind of harder to listen to. Like there's no balance, like, you know, music, like this is music. At the end of the day, you have to think about this is really music. So um, just creating that vibe by layering everything the right way. You know, I know I keep saying that over and over, but you know, it's essential. So another mistake, a lot of over compression you know, with the compressing and limiting. You know, I know everybody's on YouTube and watching tutorials on how to do this and how to do that. And it tells you a lot of things, but honestly, a lot of that compression, it usually like, it really makes the beat sound like flat or just, you know, pretty much garbage overall. Me, I really don't, I don't use any of that. I've never really been a fan of using any of that. With me, it's just always been like, manual layering, you know, manual leveling. You know, I think you can't beat that. Another mistake that um, young producers make, also that I just thought about, what you make your beats on, you know, um, whether it be your headphones or this or that, I really advise you, you know what I'm saying, to go get some, like, flat rate monitors or, like, flat, frequency headphones or monitors or whatever, you know, so you can really hear it for what it is and adjust it that way. Instead, again, maybe you might get some headphones with the bass is exa exaggerated, you know, things like that will throw your mix off, you know. Um, so just take it pretty seriously on whatever you use it to listen back to what you're doing, because that's pretty essential. With my razor blade, um, I just use a simple audio interface and that pretty much gets the job done. So definitely invest in an audio interface for your laptop. The last mistake that young producers are making is not having a razor blade computer because they're faster than the rest. Yo, this is Metro Boomin. You know, those are a few mistakes that I think that a lot of young producers make and I'm out. <laughs>